Caleb Smith State Park, part of the Long Island Green Belt Trail. Should be a nice, relaxing hike through this, I believe, 500 plus acre state park. I read online there's a lot of, um, pretty much the entire thing is even terrain, so a lot of wildlife, a lot of bird watchers. There's fishing, as long as you have a permit. Uh, it's the back of the museum. I guess it's a old historic building, restored. Part of the Caleb Smith State Park. Um, unfortunately, I can't go in because I forgot my mask. But what can you do? Pretty big pond. Very peaceful. No undulations. Very, very easy hike. In a second, let me check my little map, see which trail we're gonna take. We've decided to take the red trail, which is gonna head west and then we'll loop around south and we'll eventually go back to where the museum is in the beginning. It's about a two mile hike. Look, we have deers, white tails in the distance. Looks like a mother and her little baby. Remain very still. They're not out to harm us, and we're not out to harm them. We have to be very quiet. They don't want us disturbing them. That's a big one. There's the mummy. I wonder if someone lives here. I doubt it. Am I the only one out here? So quiet. So far we saw a handful, at least five or six white tails. Not sure if they're afraid of us or we're afraid of them. So many bridges on this red trail that we're on. Uh, we're gonna eventually connect to the yellow trail. I think that's a, another quarter of a mile or so ahead. Another bridge. Bridges everywhere in this park. Walking, walking, walking. Every park looks just about the same, but it is relaxing. And we're almost at the end of our hike. 
nothing changes. Landscape's all about the same. Streams, paths, bridges. All right. One big circle, and we're back at the head, and also the start. I meant the start and the ending of Caleb Smith State Park. It's been a fun journey, fun three to four mile hike, I would say. Very even terrain, nothing difficult. Great for beginners and family. So that's it. Until then, next time. And lastly, I forgot to say this park has very very limited parking to about 30 cars only so it opens at 9 in the morning I believe Wednesday to Sunday and if you don't get here early right now I'm leaving the park at 11 and it's completely filled there are cars on the road waiting to get in so come early